Once upon a time, there lived a very wealthy man in Benares, a city in northern India. When his father passed away, he inherited even more wealth. Instead of keeping it all for himself, he decided to share it with others. He built dining halls at the four gates of the city north, east, south, and west, where he offered free food to anyone who needed it. He became well known for his generosity and was also respected for following the five training steps. Nearby, in the forest, lived a silent Buddha who spent his time meditating. A Buddha is someone who is enlightened, meaning they see life as it truly is and feel deeply connected to all living things. Because of this, the silent Buddha was filled with compassion and wanted to help others achieve enlightenment too. However, during this time, no one was able to understand the truth of life, so the Buddha remained silent. One day, while meditating, the silent Buddha entered such a deep state of concentration that he stayed in one position for seven days and nights without eating or drinking. When he finally returned to his normal state, he was extremely hungry and weak. He went to the rich man's mansion in Benares to ask for food. The rich man had just sat down to eat when he saw the silent Buddha approaching with his alms bowl. He immediately stood up and asked his servant to give food to the Buddha. However, Mara, the god of death, was watching. Mara is filled with greed and gains power over people by making them fear death. But since the Buddha did not fear death, Mara had no power over him. Wanting to destroy the Buddha, Mara saw this as his chance since the Buddha was weak from hunger. Before the servant could give the food to the silent Buddha, Mara created a deep pit filled with burning coals between them. It looked like the entrance to a hellish world. The servant was terrified and ran back to the rich man, telling him what he had seen. The rich man thought the servant was imagining things, so he sent another servant. But the same thing happened every servant he sent was too scared to approach the Buddha. Realizing that Mara was trying to stop him from doing a good deed, the rich man decided to take the food to the Buddha himself. When he saw the flames, he looked up and saw Mara floating above. The rich man asked Mara, who are you? Mara replied, I am the god of death. Did you create this pit of fire? Asked the man. Yes, said Mara. I did it to stop you from giving food to the Buddha so he would die and to keep you from gaining any spiritual merit. The rich man was determined. He said, Mara, you cannot stop me from giving and you cannot kill the Buddha. Let's see whose will is stronger. With no fear of death, the rich man stepped into the pit of fire. But instead of burning, he found himself standing on a beautiful, cool lotus flower. The flower's pollen covered him in a golden glow. Standing on the lotus, he poured the food into the Buddha's bowl. Defeated, Mara disappeared. The silent Buddha, grateful for the rich man's generosity, raised his hand in blessing. The rich man bowed in respect. Afterward, the silent Buddha left Benares and returned to the Himalayan forests. The rich man, still standing on the lotus, taught his followers the importance of practicing the five training steps to purify the mind. He explained that giving with a pure mind is truly the gift of life. When he finished speaking, the fiery pit and the lotus flower vanished. The moral of the story do not be afraid when doing good deeds.